My name is Duncan Hepburn. I'm a, a coach from the IDE program here in Venlo. Pontus is a, a, a relatively small-scale institution, part of a bigger organisation. And Venlo is a, a, a centre where we have a lot of students, where we have a close contact with the students. I think that's what's special about Pontus Venlo is that certainly in, in the programmes in, in this domain, in engineering, we know all the students by first name. The Industrial Design Engineering Programme is a new programme that was set up around about a year and a half ago, which maps quite closely onto the existing Dutch programme, Industrial Product Design, as it's called. Um, and yeah, we've decided with the, the new programme to have a more international focus, where we've invited students from all over the world to come and study in English to study product design. It's a programme with a, a different academic model, we don't have theory modules, we don't have um, examinations, but we work exclusively with live clients, whereby the students get to know the important aspects of professional practice right from day one of the programme. And that gives it a, a completely different dynamic to a traditional, what I call chalk and talk, study programme. My name is Sara, I'm from Italy, I'm 20 years old and I study industrial design engineering here in Venlo. I chose Fontys Venlo because in the Netherlands the education is really great and also at Fontys there is really an international environment and we are in the border with Germany for example so we have a lot of contact also with other countries and this study program was available here in Venlo and I really enjoy study IDE. This is a mixture of uh, engineering and design, so and that's why I choose it also. I'm Matthias, I come from Bolivia, I'm 22 years old, and I study industrial design engineering. Fontes offer this program and it offered in a really interesting way, which is we don't have classes, but we actually just go with projects and we learn from those as we go, and I thought that was a great opportunity. Well, the students learn ultimately how to how to function as a as an industrial designer in in the professional industry of uh, yeah of design. Within that, they have to learn a wide variety of different skills, which is one of the unique aspects of design programs. Generally, is that they have to be able to combine scientific uh, knowledge. They have to be able to combine creativity. They have to work as a professional. Um, and interact with clients, and they have to combine all that in a, in a systematic way that isn't just an artistic process, but has some elements of that, and isn't just an engineering process, but also has some elements of that. So it's a, a truly multidisciplinary uh, yeah, project, yeah? A, a program that the students work on. I think what particularly characterizes this program is the, the small group size that we have, the international program where we have students from they are literally all over the world, and that brings a, a really interesting cultural dynamic to the programme, um, but also brings a, yeah, a focus that students are here for a reason, they made a big investment to come, and that's see you back in the investment that they make in, in their learning. One of the, the advantages that we have is that we assess not how students gain knowledge and can repeat that knowledge in a formal examination, but we assess how students develop. So we're focusing constantly on their development towards the profile of being a graduate industrial designer. We do that through a portfolio system where every semester they build up and contribute to their developing portfolio and that's the tool that we use to assess the students so they don't necessarily have to do well in a project or make the perfect result for a project to still be able to demonstrate what they've learned and how they develop by doing that project and that I think is a, is a really special way of assessing the students. I choose this study program because I didn't have the opportunity in my country to study together design and engineering and also the study program offers me a new type of uh, learning uh, course, let's say it's called a SEAL system. There is a system from Finland that is experimented here in Fontis and it gives you much more freedom but in the same time professional uh, attitude towards the subjects we are dealing with here at uh, uh, Fontis IDE. What I also really like is the relationship that we have with our coaches that are our professors. It's really different from the other universities. That's really nice. It creates a really nice environment. The students on the IDE will experience that there isn't an average week. Yeah, every week is different. They're constantly working on projects and with any given week there can be client presentations for a project, there might be workshops from an external uh, expert to help them with theoretical knowledge on that project. They might be working one day in the workshop 
another day they spend on sketching. Um, we have a start, the, the fixed elements of the week are things like startups and wrap ups, which are moments where we reflect on what's happening and also talk about what's going to happen in the week to allow everybody to, to align themselves with the activities that are planned in for that particular week. But there isn't really a week which is exactly the same as another week anywhere in the programme, um, which keeps it dynamic and interesting. The thing that inspires me the most of this program is, as I said before, it's the, the freedom we get. Not only work with clients, like real life clients where we talk to them and see what they really need and try to solve problems they have, but we can also bring our own projects, either if it's a personal project that we just want to experiment or a project from home. For example, I've tried, I've brought like a, a project from Bolivia that I can work here. So that's something I've, I found really nice. And you're always learning while you do and you do what you want, like. A graduate uh, industrial design engineer will be able to go into a wide variety of different disciplines related to from engineering roles right through to creative industries because the, the skills they learn here are, can be used specifically in, in production environments where, where products are being developed and designed and engineered but they can also be used wide across the creative industries where things like design thinking, the, the design process is now used in a wide variety of different industries to, to help to develop new ideas and generate new, new knowledge.